Yeah, let's do let's do the uh, only other the only other mo more exciting mission that doesn't require a fucking honorable. Oh wait, we gotta wait a little. I'd say now that we're parting ways with this game, like we could put well, all our attention. Are. I'm s what? Well, you are, I guess. I'm. I'm still gonna keep this game. Like I'm gonna. I was gonna say we now we can focus our attention on that that comic idea and just kind of. You know what? Yeah. Pri prioritize that. Yeah, actually, you're right. Yeah. It's like I kind of lost motivation with Patrick's character in this game. It's like. There's nothing. There's no end. Like um, if you recall on my YouTube channel. The earliest GTA videos I had were just silent little long plays or little short clips of Patrick doing the missions in, in a specific order. Like, shows up, yeah, does does this mission, does that mission. It's like, I want to do that for this one, but can't. Can't even know. If I had it my way, I'd have Patrick and Vinny in this game. Both own a house, and I could just tell the story, but... They, yeah. they ruined it. They couldn't figure it out. So it's like... This game has, made, has been left to rot. So it's like the only way I can really properly convey Patrick now is just gonna have to either play by myself or do the web com do the, the comic idea that we had. I honestly... Like I said, I am all on board for the comic. Yeah, me too. I, I can't wait for that. I do... I do appreciate... It did make me smile a little when you said that's accurate could be the main, but honestly, I, I think Patrick should be the main. He wouldn't fit, though. There's nothing to really, like... But we start I with I think, Patrick. honestly, the only way that we could do this right is if we each share, like, our own 15 minutes of fame. Like, we each get our defining moment or something like that. And then we just and gotta then we all, And it's like we all come together in the end, and that brings us together as... as yeah. Well. That's what I'm thinking, and then if it goes well, we could do a sequel where we... Why don't we just... Why not... How about the plot is we finish this whole plot with this one lady in the game. What's her name? The LeClerc? LeClerc? Mrs. LeClerc. Like, we could have it be that Zack notices... Like, Zack like Zach notices Patrick's skill with a gun, and is like, why don't you help me with, with her, you know? Oh, no, just... I'm thinking... If they're not going to finish the story, let's make that our story. We'll finish the LeClerc storyline. So it's just a gang, a group of guys at various parts of the map come together to help LeClerc. And it's kind of like a sort of Avengers style meeting. It's just, or it's just like short individual tales, uh, short little stories about our characters' ups and downs in this universe and then it just leads to us meeting the clerk at some point and then we each put our our minds together to solve whatever she had in mind we just craft yes. this if rockstar's not going to finish it then we'll finish it we'll we'll tell them how it's supposed to end or something or we'll figure it out right. she wanted I mean, to just, get revenge right like yeah i mean i worked mrs leclerc into zach's canon actually there you go because, you know, Zack gets broken out of prison by her. Since we're going by the logic that, you know, your character... That because Patrick, Julia, and Cormac are all foreign, Zack would be the only one to have likely gone to jail, you know, in the opening scene, you know? We could set it up so it plays out like when you first started. Zack is the one being rescued by her. As he then he visits the sordid towns and meets, and then we could have something like Cormac and Patrick work together to escape that prison too. Like they were already captured, something went wrong, and then, or maybe Cormac was in the prison. Patrick bailed him out on the way out to rescue someone else, and then meet up with Zach, and then Zach introduces them to the clerk, and then we just pick up from there and like Julia shows up at some point and I don't know I guess we'll we'll, we'll discuss I honestly really liked the first the, idea the first we'll idea where it was like we all we're all at Bump, black water we, bumping into each other 
yeah, we bump into each other, like, and the screen fades to, you know, give, it doesn't, you could go into more detail later, but it gives, like, a brief backstory, you know? I know I do want to write a script, but I do hate the keyboard that I have, the, the cheap keyboard that I'm getting, that I have right now, it's, that's the I, one I, my sister gave what. to my mother, but I'll, I'll see if I, I can I, type I something up. After we're done with this game, after words, I'll I could I think I have a I think I have a word thing set up here. Let me go ahead and see if we can do the last mission now. Yeah. And what I can do is I'll get a script going, you know, or we'll you and I will do a call and we'll. No, you, me, Ollie, and Cryptic will do a call and we'll work on the script. Yeah. I'd say let me focus on the commissions as soon as 12 hits and then I'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. Alright, shall we? As I knock two people out? Yes. Just, you know... <clears throat> Because I do, I do like the idea where we get like a brief, you know, backstory to everyone. Like people can have a instead instead of having it be like the character talks about it randomly, you know, like like yeah, you know, I had I've been living on the streets all my life, you know, I've been doing this since I was since I was eighteen, ever since I got framed for a crime, you know, it's like, I don't know why, I've never the liked part, The part with that I would write for Patrick is just clever writing, just something where you kind of see he's, he's sus, but he's, he's clever, he's manipulative, he can kind of like flip that around on people and just kind of... I do I'll, like I'll, that, like... I'll write something up, like it's short conversation between him and a person on the train or whatever and I can show it to you. I know. But like I said, I do like the idea of, like, you know, Zack slowly picking up, you know, not right away. I've already scratched that, you know, the whole Zack is too smart, but it's like, I want Zack to, like, pick it up slowly, and then... Yeah, that's, that's what I'm, like I said, I think if Patrick, if we're making Patrick keep his, his abilities, he has to at least be a challenge. He has to, like... Yeah. Yeah. We have to... The, they all have to have something they're they're good at, you know. Yeah, Patrick's is disguises, spying, thievery, Assassin's Creed kind of stuff. Not like he's not think... not part of a secret society, but he's yeah. Zach would be the Zach would be the, is the marksman as well as the planner, you know. Like yeah. he he's like Dutch, you know. He's got a He's got a plan. He knows how to work around, you know. And yeah. it's because of that that he's landed himself in businesses with uh, with bounties as well as you know moonshine bootlegging. It's like he's he like Zach is like we'll give Zach that he's smart. And I feel like because Zach is able to plan and think ahead, that would give that would make I sense for him to slowly oh, pick up Andy on Patrick's bullshit. But the key word here is slow. What, 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 I gotta wonder where the storyline where this was gonna go. Well, the I, the original idea was that we were all gonna. No, the the Leclerc thing. Like, what, I, I know what, what it was. What was it? Just kill the dude in the they, iron armor and that's it? Or? The story was that we would, you know, the story so the whole story was, of course, you know, where she breaks us out of prison because she knows we're not responsible for the death of her husband. Like, we go, this mission was supposed to be the first guy we kill, the next second one was to go to kill the second guy, and I think there were supposed to be two other updates where we go and kill the last two. But obviously they never did that. And left this mission in the dirt. It's amazing, man. You come with me. I've never you seen remember, a it's, the I've never seen a company jail. like so don't overly concern yourself. put out a like Pity. leave a half finished story. Yeah. That's the, that's the more mind-boggling. Like, 
yeah, the the stuff we never got is one thing, but man, just leave the story hanging like that, like it's it blows the mind. It's like leaving. It's like uh, watching Back to the Future. Ended on part two, never do part three. Marty's trapped in 1955 forever. It's like, okay. Imagine then. it. Was that actually a thing? Like, uh, did... that might have been. An original plan was like, they were just gonna leave Marty in 1955. I don't think it was part of any drafts. I just remember the. It was called Back to the Future Paradox, and it was gonna be like a four hour long movie. Or something, and then it's like basically, what if Marty never, what if, like that moment, like that Marty would have been would've... an interesting timeline, though. Just Marty never leaves, like Doc just gives up on him, or some yeah. shit. Although that would be but depressing. <laughs> although, but yeah, it's like that's basically an example. If you can't just leave a story half finished. I'm I'm willing the bed Rockstar will give us an excuse that oh well she finished it on her own. She fin no, the best joke that I saw on the forum was uh, they announced telegram missions. How much you want to bet the telegram missions are just going to speed up everything? He's like, oh yeah, the, the car did this and that. Uh, just go, you know, go uh, deliver this telegram to somebody. Uh, just shoot them up for me. Okay, have a nice day. Signed, Leclerc. Leclerc. <laughs> Just s rush out that exposition in a hurry. Don't even let it play out naturally. It's just like st everything has to be dropped in five paragraphs. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of why I like when we were talking earlier about this comic of introducing our characters. I don't want it to be like dialogue. I want it to be visuals. We gotta find the right uh, balance. And like, instead, <clears throat> it's like they. Our characters find out, you know, or like we reveal our characters backstory, but our character, but everyone else, like uh, Patrick, won't know Zach's story until later on. Like they, Zach won't know. Well, Pat, Cormac won't know Patrick's backstory until later, you know. Ah shit! Make sure you're in cover. Oh yeah. Because you can't use tonics in this one. Gotta get that guy with the machine gun. You know what? Thank heaven I thought to, uh... Thank heaven I I restocked on explosive bullets. Cause that one guy, you know? Yeah. Here, take the... Get on the cannon. Or do you want me to? It's up to you. Don't worry about it. Go, go for we're it. Open up. We're opening up. We're not... All right, stay in. All right, we're going in together. If you need me. Yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming, I hear the Yeah. Who oh shit. Okay. Where are you? The uh, side on the left, on the right. You're coming up. There. Hey, stay alive, soldier. Okay. I got you. Thank you. I gotta get in cover now. Shot in the asshole. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Probably, he'd ra probably rather get fucked than that. Yeah. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. Bad enough he got shot, but it was right up the anus. It's like just shotgun shell right in the butthole. Wait, where is they? Oh, 
Gotcha, fucker. Whoops, easy. What happened? Damn it. Let me there know you if you need me. I know yeah, I, I say was, that a oh, lot. I, I was I was too lazy to use the ladder, so I just jumped off. Good. You know, I would take it if you weren't such a coward, sir. Ah, there he is. Mr. Let's spam the dynamite. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You think I'm afraid of you, fool? We could always, like, rewrite the game's history and just say, uh, the comic is just us fighting all the... Well, shit. On my way. Kill the rest of these guys. I'm going back there. Watch out, you got a guy behind you. Well, how do you do, fellow? Where are you? He's gone. No, not done yet. There he is. There we go. Hold on. I'll get the last laugh. Oh, nope. Okay, that looks. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. That, that would have been funny if, if he did. <laughs> Good thing I caught myself. I saw with the writing on the wall. <laughs> Your adrenaline, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, been, no, no. I'm sorry, but that would have been that would have been. I'm cool. glad I saw it. I was like, shit, I overshot it and backed off. <laughs> It reminds me of that Call of Duty clip from World War World War Two, where I threw a grenade out of nowhere, bounced back, ran away, and it killed the guy chasing after me instead. Oh God, the soda's pretty much shot. You, sir, are gonna be our very last kill. I did it. Kind of annoying that Rockstar decided to remove the skip button. Really did they really? Is that why we can't yeah. do it? Oh, yeah. you gotta be shit. Wow. Like, yeah, I'd keep pushing it. There's no skip. I I okay. noticed that. I thought it was just like a product of the game being what it is, but now it's like, no, it's a, an official function. Jesus. So now we have to watch this. I guess it's for. I would approve it for newer players, though, if I'm being honest. Thank you. Not like newer it matters. Like, not like it matters. It's like, I don't think anybody plays these anymore. These so. games. Yeah, these missions. Like, these are 2018 missions. Yeah. Shit. Four years ago. I remember buying this game. I was working at Walmart, and I was like, well, I bought the. Bought the PS4, I bought the Switch, and then I was like, you know, I'm gonna get GTA. And then this game came out. I don't remember if we were friends back then or did we meet each other for this, but it's like I remember buying I it. Was, no, we met through GTA. I was I suggested GTA or I suggested Red Dead to you. And you got it and yeah. Tell you what, do you guys wanna like maybe soon, like when I get the fans working, if I can get that why don't I just stream the the campaign mode? Just play the Arthur Reed, the Arthur Arthur Reed from <laughs> PBS Kids. Yeah, I want to play as Arthur Reed from PBS Kids and his storyline. Uh, every day yes. when you're walking down the dirt, uh -huh, <laughs> every uh -huh, griefer uh -huh, that uh -huh. you every every uh -huh. griefer that you meet, and get along with each other. Uh -huh. And I say, hey, what the fuck are you trying to do? <laughs> what the fuck are you trying <laughs> that, to That should be a PBS, that should be a Red Dead parody. Just parody of the Arthur theme, but it's against griefers. And I say, hey, stop fucking trying to kill me in my game. I'm just trying to mind my own. I'm going to report you to the game staff. <laughs> oh, God. 
Alright, we'll take a break and I guess I'll see you on Fallout later. Yeah, it's 11 right now. I'll do a little bit of drawing. I Maybe mean, I could do like an hour's worth of drawing and I'll ping ya. I'll set it up. Yeah, just, and... just uh, tag me here. Alright then. I'm I'm, so, I'm glad I could help with earlier though. That means a lot to me. I appreciate that. That fucker just pushed me over the edge. I hated that <laughs> shit. Like, I hate yeah, griefers that, as a I, whole, man. It's just I th yeah, I don't know anyone who can support griefers. Yeah, I that pissed me off, and I'm like, all right, you know what? How about I? How about you fuck with someone who can take you on, sir? For real. All right, but yeah. Well, if you want, we'll tell you. We could tell you later what happened, Brez, if you want. Yeah. The short answer, honestly, like the. Uh, just I was at the cemetery, just minding my own business, taking some photos, just kind of in it, just contemplating and just kind of reminiscing with Ollie. And then this dude burned me alive, but he had like a group of three. Burned me as I was in the social club menu, and then just continually shot me repeatedly, repeatedly until me and Ollie switched sessions. And then Zach came on and offered to go kick their ass, and we re we rejoined him. And then we just well, more like the game had you guys join me. Yeah. And then after that, just pretty much scared one of the the. I think he was like the owner of the posse too. So. Yeah. Scared him away. Yeah, he, he, he did actually run, and after that, after he ran, I was like, "All right, I'm satisfied." Yep. Like I had, I that's all I wanted, you know. As soon as he started running, I was like, "All right, we're good, we're even now." Yeah. I sent him a message that said, "Consider this retribution." Yep. Serves him uh, right. Fuck that guy and all that, and anyone that plays just like him. Yeah. Fuck him. All right. I'll, I'll catch see you, you guys later. later. I'd say yeah. give me like. Hour and a half, maybe? That should be enough to yeah, knock a couple of commissions and I'll come back. Yeah, sure, no problem. Alright, see ya. See ya.